First off, let me just say, thank God this was not another Ghost in the Shell film. <laughs> going on folks and welcome to another Reputized video. Alita Battle Angel is directed by Robert Rodriguez and stars Rosa Salazar, Christopher Waltz, and it tells the story of this tossed away cyborg who gets rescued and then she tries to figure out who she is, where she came from, what her past is. This film is set in the not far distant future, 300 years from now. It is a post-apocalyptic futuristic sci-fi action thriller with a lot of heart i've got to say okay can you know with the positive folks the character development and the characters in general especially from christopher waltz and rosa salazar's character i got a definite father-daughter bond i love the way these two characters connected christopher waltz he played the doctor who rescued her and from then on she was pretty much like his own child to him and it was really interesting to see these characters develop their relationship and how much love they they shared with each other. Especially when you get to find out what the backstory of Christopher Waltz's character actually was with his real, oh, actual real daughter. I thought that was really touching. You know, the story in this I thought was really great. It was basically just this cyborg trying to find her place in life. And then in along, along the way, these really tough, mean cyborgs, especially this one big, bulky cyborg where she had to fight, and, uh, you know, that was just really cool. I loved the way the fight sequences was. There's a bunch of real unique fighting scenes in this. This movie looked beautiful. Bill Pope's work on this was just fantastic. It was crystal. It was really dark and gritty. This movie definitely delivered. I really had no idea what I was getting into. And to be honest, when I went into this, I was expecting another Ghost in the Shell film, which I did not really like. That one was just watered down all the heck. And it was just, it was dull. But in this, they really proved me wrong. Tom Hokenborg's score was just amazing. I, I liked the way he scored it. It really pushed you to want to care for all these characters that was going through everything, especially Salazar's character. I think Robert Rodriguez did this film justice. He's a really talented director. I liked his Sin City films, even though the last one wasn't as strong. I liked the Machete films. But setting that aside, I think his direction in this film was just fantastic. You could tell he had his hands full. This film it had a lot of heart with the romance stuff. Even though I said in my past reviews about movies that had stuff like this in it, this one actually made me feel for that aspect of it between Silas Hard's character and the guy that she fell in love with. It was very moving, and especially by the third act, you really feel for her. And I'm gonna move into the negatives, and there's not much. The only negative I had was even though I said that this film looked really beautiful, the choreograph and cinematography and all of that, the set designs, I kind of had a little bit of a problem with how the CGI looked. The digital effects was good to a certain point, but there was certain cyborgs and robots that had face, human-like faces on them. And after a while, that sort of, that sort of, got uh, like some chuckles out of me and not in a good way either it, it just looked kind of cheesy and like they would do a bunch of these movements and i know digital effects artists does their best with what they got and they made this movie on a huge amount of budget you can tell that this was not cheap to make at all but it's just the way that the movements was on some of the cyborgs that had human faces after a while it just got a little bit cheesy and so after that, it kind of took me away from the movie. But once the action started up, it was just so hardcore. Think of Wonder Woman and roping me back in. That's how it was. All of 
all, folks, this film was really good, and I would suggest it to you watching it on a Friday night, anytime. And I, th I think it was a really good film, and if you're an action slash sci-fi junkie like I am, I think you would definitely enjoy this film. Guys, this was a really fun movie. I would suggest you go out and see it right away. Alita Battle Angel gets a B+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What did you think of Alita Battle Angel? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon. Peace the rip out.